this professional poster was created using AI in 30 minutes using four different tools. But here's what nobody shows you. It took me multiple attempts to get it right. So today I'm showing you the exact workflow to create stunning posters with AI, including all the failures that you will encounter and how to fix them as well. So by the end of this video, you'll know which AI tool to use for each part of the poster design, the exact prompts that I used, how to fix AI's text and design errors, and also professional finishing techniques for print ready posters. I had to do a grade three solar system poster for my daughter. So this was the perfect test case. Now let me show you the complete process. So I started off in Manus, which is currently my favorite AI tool. And here's the exact prompt, nothing fancy. This is for a grade three girl named Mariam Asmal. Create the poster for me. I have attached the order as well. Here is the order. And then I'm stating Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. And then I gave you the instructions. Learners are to create an A3 poster of the solar system with all the planets in the correct order. Must be colorful and neat. Pretty straightforward. And immediately Manus went to work. And it says... Got it, I will create the A3 poster of the solar system for Mariam Asma. And as you can see, you can see all the work that it did because Manus actually has the ability to open its own browser and get stuff done. And it shows you its entire thought process. As you can see here, it's saying, I found suitable, colorful, child-friendly solar system images showing the eight planets in order with bright, smiling planets appealing for grade three. These references will guide the poster design, ensuring accuracy and visual appeal. Next, I'll proceed to layout and creation of the poster, keeping the design engaging and educational. So it shows me each step of what it's actually doing. So it shows me when it's refining the image, when it's generating another image and more refinement and generating another image and so on. And then eventually it says, I've created a beautiful and educational solar system poster for Mariam Asma. And then it goes on and then it says, the design includes colorful, child-friendly planets with cute smiling faces. Clear, easy to read labels, suitable for grade 3 reading level. And as you can see, this is what it created. So it actually gave me a picture of a poster on top of a background. And if you look closely, you'll see there are many errors in here. For example, there's no Earth. Uh, Mercury looks like the Sun. Uh, Uranus is missing an S. So now I simply said, I need it in A3 without the wooden background. And I stated some of the errors. And Manners came back and said, I'll fix those issues right away. And then it went to work. And then it gave me a completely different design. No wooden background, but as you can see, it added in a sun. It duplicated uh, Saturn and Uranus, and it's a completely different design. And this is normal with AI. Now here's what separates people who succeed with AI from those who quit. It's not intelligence. It's not tech skills. It's knowing this secret. AI is currently terrible at complete solutions but it's amazing at separate pieces and once you understand this everything changes let me show you what i mean so now i was starting to get frustrated and as you can see i actually told it you are useless it is a completely different image and also you have added sun from nowhere duplicated saturn uranus and this is the order it was supposed to be in. And then I gave it the correct order. Now, even though I was frustrated, I still knew that there was a solution. And that is why instead of me breaking my head and going back and forth and getting similar results, I asked it to give me an ideogram prompt. Now, ideogram is the best AI tool out there for creating posters. 
So I asked it to go and do deep research on ideogram prompting for poster generation and give me a prompt that I can use in ideogram to create this. Now here also, knowing the best tools to use and when to use them becomes critical. And then Manus says, you're absolutely right and I apologize for the confusion. Let me research ideogram prompting techniques for poster generation and create a proper prompt for you. And again, you can see it's complete uh, thought history. And then it says, I've completed comprehensive research on ideogram prompting techniques and created an optimized prompt for your solar system poster. Here's what you need. And it even gave me the style settings and some critical settings as well. And if you look closely at all the files, you will see that it gave me a complete ideogram AI a prompting poster research paper. And you can see how thorough and detailed this is. And that's the power of Manus. Not so great at design work, but great at research and doing complex tasks. And as you can see, with regards to the prompt, it actually gave me a primary prompt and also an alternative shorter version as well. And it gave me key instructions of how to use it as well, including troubleshooting tips and the expected results. So I headed over to Ideogram and pasted in that prompt and changed the settings accordingly. Now let me save you months of frustration. Here again, you will notice that I ran the prompt multiple times because the truth is you will very rarely get a great output on your first attempt. So it's not that you are doing anything wrong. That's just the limitation of the AI. So I found a design that I liked, but here as well, there were a few errors. For example, Mars is duplicated, but at least I had something now that I could work with. So now I went over to my third tool and this is Canva and in Canva I chose a blank A3 canvas and as you can see when I actually uploaded this image you will notice a few white blank spaces on the top and at the bottom as well. So firstly to solve this I selected the image then I clicked on edit and then I went to the magic studio options and I scrolled all the way to the end and then I selected Magic Expand. Then you just select the area that you need expanded and basically what this is going to do, it's going to expand the image using AI. And as you can see, it's starting to work and it will give you a few variations and then you get to choose the one that you like best or you can run it again if you want other variations as well. So as you can see from the four that he just created now, only one looked reasonable. So now that that was done, I needed to do some editing to remove the duplicated Mars and also to move around some of the text because I didn't like where this was positioned. And I also wanted to make the text a little clearer. And then the next thing that I did was, within Magic Studio again, I now chose the Magic Grab feature. And now this allows you to select objects within any design. So automatically the AI will select an object. But even if your object hasn't been selected, all you need to do is just select the brush icon and then just brush over the objects that you want selected. And then click on grab. And you can do this individually or you can do this throughout the entire design. So as you can see, it has captured those objects and now I can move them around. So all I did was I removed Mars and then I centralized this and then I did the same thing for Jupiter as well because I wanted to make it a little smaller. But now you will notice I made another error because I selected the objects before I actually selected the text. And what happened now was I wasn't able to select the text. So I had to start all over again. Just that this time, before selecting the object, I actually clicked on edit and within the Magic Studio again, I selected the grab text feature. And as you can see, what this does is it selects all the text on an image. Now I could select all of them if I want or I could individually select something. So for example, if I just select this 
and I click on grab. This now allows me to move around the text. I can change the font. I can change the font size if I want. And if I want to grab more text, I can just select that same tool again. And this will allow me to select more text as well. So once I had the text sorted, I then repeated the steps to grab the objects. And as you can see here, I was able to move all of the objects and add in the text that I wanted and move this text as well. And now I finally had a poster that I was happy with. And now this is great, but I still wanted to take this one step further. And that is where my fourth tool comes in. So I went over to free pick and then I selected the image upscaler option. And then I uploaded my poster. And just as the name suggests, what this allows you to do is actually upscale the image and also make everything crisper so you have a clearer output. And you can actually compare the before and after options. So as you can see, everything becomes much more clearer. But just be careful with this. It does a really great job of enhancing the pictures or objects on an image, but you have to be careful with the text because it can sometimes become pixelated. And that is where you will need to play around with the settings to get the best possible results. So eventually, after 30 minutes and four different tools, I had a happy daughter and wife as well. And here's the actual poster. I printed it out in A3 and I laminated it as well. You now have the exact workflow to create professional posters with AI. Yes, it takes four tools. Yes, you'll fail multiple times. But 30 minutes beats three days of manual design anytime. And if you want to master AI for business and marketing, not just for posters, join my community at AIleadbuilder.com and watch this next video where I show you seven amazing features in Google AI Studio that you can start using for free. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.